Hi guys. Okay, we are at Jerome, yep. Arizona, and we are at their famous jail. And we probably wouldn't have even come up here. However, we have a guest this week. Special guest, <laughs> my dad. <laughs> Do you guys remember him when he came and fixed the dents in our truck? And then we hit a deer and redented it. <laughs> the deer hit us. The deer hit us. I need to keep remembering to say that. Yes. I forgot to bring my tools. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. We're going home for a couple weeks, so maybe you could fix it then. <laughs> But we are boondocking outside of Sedona, Arizona this week. And when I mentioned that to my dad, he said, I'm obsessed with a rock out there that I need to take pictures of. <laughs> yes, Cathedral Rock. Yes. In the center has my rock. <laughs> Literally, he brought a folder of photos that he's already taken and <laughs> has circled it and said, my rock. And there's a certain angle it's, it's an art form, right? There's a certain angle you're trying to get and you just haven't yes. gotten it yet. Had to bring the right lens this time. Okay, so that is one of the major goals this week is to get that shot you want. Tomorrow morning, we're gonna break our sleep-in habits yeah. and get there. We're going to is a very strong that... way of saying that. <laughs> well, maybe. On the phone, you said you were going to get up early, and now that you're here, we're all going all of a sudden. I needed a model, though. <laughs> Good. Jason can go. <laughs> I got to work. Okay. Bummer. All right. Well, we'll figure that I'm out I'm on vacation. That's true. You should sleep in on vacation. <laughs> Hey, you can sleep when you're dead. Okay. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Which a lot of people here in Jerome did. <laughs> so Jerome is a ghost town about 20 something miles outside of Sedona up on the hill and it's pretty interesting. Yes, so far it's beautiful. We have a great view of Sedona. We've already checked out the jail, but we're actually gonna go walk the streets now, maybe find dinner or something and just see what this little town's all about. <laughs> Give them a peek of this jail too. Okay, I'll show you the jail. We're halfway done with the Devil's Bridge Trail here, which is one of the most popular hikes to do in Sedona. And popular is definitely what it is because there are a million people on this trail. <laughs> well, at least a couple hundred we passed. Yes. And this mile in, mile out hike is a OTV trail. So there are cars on this as well, but they're going super slow because they're off-roading, so it's not the like best, not the most nature-connecting hike, <laughs> right? There's not a single part of this trail where you don't see another person. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so it's a mile up and a mile back if you have a four by four and you can get to the trailhead, otherwise <laughs> it's... Uh, Two miles in, two yeah. miles out. <laughs> yes, four miles round trip here. Oh, and there's another car coming the other way. So we're gonna have a nice little traffic jam up here. <laughs>
right, we finished our hike where we were getting coated with exhaust. And how did you guys feel about Devil's Bridge? I thought it was a nice hike, but very popular and not worth the hype. Not worth the hype? Okay, no. what do you think? A waiting line to <laughs> step out on it and get your picture taken by someone waiting in the gallery was yeah interesting. Since there were 50 people in front of us, we didn't get out there. And no. the sunlight traveled across that in a matter of minutes. That's true. So you do have to go early if you want the sun on the bridge, that's for sure. And we'd recommend going early just to avoid the people and during the week. So now we are here at Montezuma's Castle, which is a much more relaxing experience. <laughs> um, and then, you know, if you've watched our last couple of vlogs, I've been really into the ancestral Pueblo culture. So this is just right up my alley and all the frustration I felt at the hike, I'm uh, feeling a lot better here. <laughs> what do you- It's way up there. It's way up there. <laughs> you to think beyond ancient stone walls and vacant rooms to the remains of a once vibrant village a village of people who experience wants and needs anxieties and fears joys and sorrows just as you and I today We've moseyed our way back to Sedona now, and this town is just beautiful. I mean, you come over that hill and you start to see all the red rock and the different formations, and it's just stunning. It's really hard to like focus on the road, but you can definitely tell from when we would come in to town during the week and then come in today, which is Saturday. Ooh, there are like a, what feels like a million more people here. Yeah, it's definitely ten, like 10 times the amount of people. Yeah, so we're kind of guessing maybe people from the surrounding towns come in for the weekend. I mean, it draws, you know, a whole range of people because Sedona is known, if you didn't know, for vortexes. Um, and supposedly where we are right now, the ranger at the station said there was a vortex here. Remember that? You don't remember? Anyway, um, so we are currently in an area called Red Rock Crossing um, to have my dad pursue a picture of his rock, aka Cathedral Rock. Yeah. And it's not just Cathedral Rock, there's like one particular rock point in Cathedral Rock <laughs> that he's like obsessed with. Yeah. And it kind of reminds me of the guy from Close Encounters when he's obsessed with Devil's Tower that's like how my dad's acting. <laughs> you get your pictures? Bomb, yeah. yeah, come photobomb us. <laughs> photobomb, yeah. Did you get the shot that you're looking for? Well, no. No, of course not. That, that, that's been the answer all week. <laughs> Perfect shot doesn't exist, he said. Yeah. Did you find well, it hasn't area? happened. It yeah. exists somewhere. It exists, just hasn't happened. Probably uh, after 10 hours of Photoshop. Okay. He has been chasing this thing down. He went up by himself one morning this week. And he, le he left at like 7 a.m. and he wasn't back. We ended up driving to Sedona and meeting him for dinner at like 6.30. <laughs> it was a long day. Well, yeah. Yeah, he was like, I'm just going for the morning to get the morning shot. And uh, if you didn't continuously text me throughout the day, I would have thought that you like fell off the cliff or something. No. <laughs> and I did. He did trip and hurt himself a little bit, yes. So anyway, <laughs> we are hopefully going to just sit here 
There's still a couple people on this trail, but it's a lot less crowded than the Devil's Bridge Trail, that's for sure. So there's a little stream over here, and you follow the stream up, and you can get eight million different shots of Cathedral Rock. <laughs> yeah. Have you shown them that yet? You have to show them. Okay, I'll show you all the angles from here. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's the main reason why I come to see them. Yeah, not to visit your kid. <laughs> More opportunity. Look, well, well, look at the old. <laughs> well, usually. <laughs> but with you here, it was like a no-brainer. Okay, okay, good, good. <laughs> Let's talk. Yeah. So we're back at our boondocking location and you might hear some shots in the background and that is because you are allowed to shoot on this land, specifically in this area. Yeah, it's forest service land and there's three or four spots that it looks like the locals like to come out and <laughs> shoot against the, the Rocky Mountain backstop, so. Yes. So we've gotten very used to that noise. Yeah. So even though that might seem like a con, I actually like this place more because on Campendium, there is a place on the road, up the road about one mile and it's called, what's it called? Forest Road 525? Yeah. On Campendium? The main Five, drag. Seven, Five, two, five, 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 two, five. Yeah. yeah. And it's called the main drag, that's right, on Campendium. And so we went there first and it was like a RV park almost. There were just RVs right next to each other because it's the main road and then there's just little turnouts here and there. And we heard if you go down further, like five to 10 miles, you can get some great views of the Red Rocks, but you would definitely need a smaller RV that could handle that graded road because it was pretty rough. Yeah, it would be miserable driving that every day in, in the truck. Yes. Because the, right. the stiff suspension. Yes, so on Campanium, this place is called Coffee Creek, right? Coffee Creek Dispersed. Yes, and so it's only 1.2 miles down the road from that other place, and we have had all of this space this whole time, nobody's come and even come close to us. And when we came out here, there was only one other RV. We had to double check that we could even be allowed out here <laughs> because we were so confused why people were on top of each other a mile up the road and nobody was here. Tell them the mile marker, 363? 363, that's yeah. how we told him how to get here. <laughs> but I'll also have a link in the description to the Campendium link, and I'll have the exact GPS coordinates if you wanna look it up that way too. And there's cows out here, <laughs> which has been so fun. Um, we're right next to their little cow path through the desert here, and so we watch them walk out every morning and then they moo to find each other every night. <laughs> they make all different kinds of noises. Yeah. yeah. One sounded like a baby left. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go, what? More noises than we've ever heard cows make. Yes, yeah. I didn't know they had such a wide range. <laughs> they have a vocabulary. They do. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so it's been really fun getting to know the cows here as well. And then you can go pretty far back into the hills if you're in a van. We've actually, in the mornings, we were walking about a mile and a half out every morning for our walks for Christine. <laughs> and yeah, it's just, I like this area a lot better, so. Oh, and hot air balloons land out here too. We woke up one morning, had a hot air balloon. Right just, outside the yeah. <laughs> yeah. And helicopters this morning. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. flying in formation. So definitely a good little spot. Yep. 
How'd you feel about boondocking? I loved it. it time helped. flew. That's true. <laughs> I should have come out a week earlier. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It was great until we ran out of water. <laughs> and propane. And propane. Last <laughs> night. Yeah. And it was I just, don't know which is worse. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's too late to go get yeah. more. Yeah. You got to experience the not so fun side of RVing with well, us these last two hey, days. Here. It just turns into camping. Now. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> Luxury camp. <laughs> Luxury. Yes. Glamping. Yeah. And we counted the weeks and we actually realized this now ends our fifth week straight boondocking. So Ooh. we haven't been in a campground now for almost six weeks. Who would have known? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> didn't think we can get you out here that, that often. <laughs> yeah, but that's true. this is what happens when you let me book the sites. <laughs> or not book them. Yep. He likes that to means. camp. Yeah. <laughs> but... Are you more of the glam cancer camper? I, I mean, I guess this still feels like glamping when we have a hundred gallon freshwater tank and yeah. <laughs> when we don't run out of water. When you start running out of the water and propane at night yeah. and you're too lazy to go find more. And it's that's... forty-five degrees outside. Yeah. 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 yeah, we piled him up with extra blankets. I could stuff. hardly move. <laughs> With the blankets or because you were so cold? No, he piled too oh. many on. Oh, okay, good. Like, I, mean, I can't move like You've got that San Diego blood. You're not used to it being colder than 50. Yeah. You know? okay. yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that's cold. But this has been a good week in Sedona. We unfortunately had a lot of work, but we still, I'm not glad you came because it got us out more than we would have been out. That's for and sure. And I'll tell you, that wasn't much. These people are workaholics. <laughs> you think this is easy? It's not. They work their buns off on the computer 10 hours a day, so appreciate it. Well, thanks, Dad. <laughs> Spoken by the protective parent. Got it. <laughs> All right, well, it's time for you to start heading back to San Diego, and we're heading out to Palm Springs. So yep, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to join our getaway gang. We'll see you next time. Bye, Bye guys. guys. <laughs> That you would have done. I didn't know what the cue was. <laughs> so. You want to try it again? <laughs> sure. Okay. We can All always right. have it's it after, in the bloopers, huh? Yeah. It's after. We'll see you next time. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to join our getaway gang. We'll see you next time. Bye, Bye guys. guys. <laughs> Did he just say nah? Mm, meow. That's probably a good idea.